How to account for barter transactions. This is Sylvia of cpdbox.com and let me welcome you in this video with my answer to one of your burning questions. I work in a food producing company and we buy cashew nuts from the local agricultural company for cash. However, recently our supplier wanted to buy some products from us for their employees and we agreed that they would pay us with cashew nuts. How shall we account for this transaction under IFRS 15? It says that non-monetary exchanges between entities in the same line of business to facilitate sales to customers or potential customers are excluded from IFRS 15 rules. So how shall we account for this transaction? Well, that's a very nice question because I love cashew nuts. And my short answer is under IFRS 15 at fair value. So let's break it down. It is true that the standard IFRS 15 specifically excludes non-monetary exchanges between entities in the same line of business to facilitate sales to customers or potential customers. And the standard gives us an example of two oil companies that agree to an exchange of oil to fulfill the demand from their customers in different locations. And the reason why IFRS 15 excludes similar transactions from its scope is that the recognizing revenue in this particular case would just gross up expenses and revenues, which is not appropriate when the same company acts as a supplier and a customer of the same homogeneous product at the same time, right? So the question is, are you working in the same line of business? Well, I would say no, because the food producer produces the ready-made products and sells them to the end customers. And as opposed to that, the supplier grows cashews and they are pretty different item than the processed food. And maybe this agricultural company has also different customers. The second question is, do you swap inventories to facilitate sales to the customers? As these two companies grow or make products for different types of customers, then I would say no, these inventories, cashews or finished products are not made to facilitate sales. So this is not the transaction excluded from the scope of IFRS 15. Now, how to account for this transaction? Well, both companies simply recognize the revenue from the sale of the products. The food producer sells the finished products and receives payment with cashews. And on the other side, the agricultural company sells cashews and receives payment with finished products. In what amount? Well, the standard IFRS 15 specifies the rules for non-cash consideration in paragraph 66, and that prescribes to measure the revenue at fair value. In Alexandra's question, the fair values can be determined quite easily because they will be just selling prices for cash. Let me just illustrate the accounting treatment now. Let's say that the food producer swapped the cashews with normal purchasing price of 1000 currency units for own finished products with normal sales price of 1000 currency units. And the cost of swapped finished products was 800 currency units. So. The food producer accounts for the sale of finished products as debit inventories of cashews, 1000, credit sales of finished goods, 1000. While well, we assume here that the cashews are delivered at the same time, otherwise you would have to debit receivables and then satisfy or re they recognize the receivable with receipt of cashews. And also, the food producer needs to remove the finished goods from the inventories as debit cost of sales 800 and credit inventories 800 and it's simple as that. Okay, but let me just add one note to all of this. IFRS 15 applies to the contracts with customers. It implies that here we are talking about swapping of inventories. Sometimes you can swap also an item of property plan and equipment for some other item of property plan and equipment. But in this case, IFRS 15 does not apply because an item of property plan and equipment is not sold or disposed of within your regular operating activity. And you can hardly say that the buyer of your property plan and equipment is your customer, right? 
Well, just look to the definition of the customer under IFRS 15. It is a party that has contracted with an entity to obtain goods or services that are an output of the entity's ordinary activities in exchange for consideration. So as a result, when you swap an item of property, plan and equipment, it does not fall under IFRS 15. Instead, you should be looking at IS 16, property, plan and equipment, and more specifically, at exchanges of assets. So here you would recognize the asset acquired at fair value. You derecognize the asset given up and you can recognize gain or loss on disposal. And this is it. Please read our disclaimer because this video does not replace the professional advice. So that's really it. For more content like this one, please visit cpdbox.com, share this video with your friends or colleagues, subscribe to our free newsletter and to this channel and get more insights like this one. Bye and thanks for watching.